So the first thing I'm going to do here for our faux stained glass window is to take our chipboard pieces here from Denise Body and take some white acrylic paint and a paintbrush and just cover the whole surface. And what I've done here is I have them mirrored images because they're going to go um, and fit together. I'll explain this better by showing you. Um, I'm going to fit them together and glue them in place like so. So the stained glass piece goes in between. So we want to mirror the images when we get ready to paint them. And I'm just going to give them a coat or two of white acrylic here. Just goes on real quick. And we're probably going to need more than one coat it looks like. Okay, so that's one coat done, and I'm just moving those off to the sides. And then I'm probably going to um, just, let's see, I'm just going to smooth some of the paint out here that I see that needs some adjusting. All right. And then I'm going to use a heat gun to dry this real quick and then do my second coat, so I'll be right back. Okay, I have given my panels two coats of white paint. You can see that it's still somewhat of a gray color, but I'm going. I, I like what I've got here, and so I'm going to leave it. And um, I've dried them with a heat gun, and so I'm going to set them off to the side. But I just want to point out to you that um, you can add more coats if you don't use a heat gun to dry. You're going to want to let these dry overnight because they're chipboard, which means they're made out of paper and they do absorb paint and so the moisture kind of stays in the chipboard um, even though it looks dry it may not be completely dry so we want to set these aside overnight unless you're going to use a heat gun um, the other thing I want to do is I want to create a mechanism mechanism for them to hang with. So I'm just going to cut off a small piece of twine here and I am going to use some adhesive just on one panel at the top and adhere my cording there and set that aside and so um, it can be drying while I move on to the stained glass piece. So, I'm trying to get my glue shut here. All right, so I am just going to attach this cord kind of right here in the center. I'm using a tacky glue. I will put links to all my materials down below um, in the description box. But um, I am using a tacky glue. It's called the best glue ever, and it is from Scrap Perfect and you've probably seen me use it quite often. I am on their design team as well. And so um, that's what I'm using here to hold that down. So you can see here from the other side what that's gonna look like when it dries out and it will hang from that piece. So I'm gonna take both of these panels and then just set them off to the side and let that glue dry um, while we move on to the next step. So our next step is using alcohol ink. And what I have here, and what's gonna um, kind of make this magic for us is this clear sheet of plastic. Um, I see, think you can see the reflection here. What this is, is a piece of laminate that I have run through my laminator um, with nothing inside it. So um, I'm gonna work on this. Now I, I do have, and, and I don't know if you can see it here, I do have a little air bubble there. That's okay, because I can just work on this side over here. That's about the size I need. So um, let me move my alcohol inks off to the side. And then um, we're just gonna start laying down some of these colors.
I just want to apply them randomly. And then I also have this air blowing tool that is not a name brand, but it is um, one from the photo department. So I got this on Amazon and I will link to this below as well. Hopefully you can see kind of what that stained glass effect is going to look like. Um, I'm going to um, hit this with a heat gun just to make sure that everything here is dry. So I have finished drying and spraying everything and just to tell you what I did off screen with my stained glass piece, I don't know if you can see it here or not, but I applied um, some shimmering mist spray on top, which gives it a kind of um, crystally look to it. It's iridescent, um, so it only shows on one side. Um, so I did that, um, just thinking that that might add a little something to it, so that uh, when we're looking at it not through a light, we actually get a little bit of activity. Then the other thing I did um, was I decided to do a quick spray of Kmar varnish, and then I um, hit it with a very low heat gun, um, just basically air, to get that to dry quickly. And then I did a really quick swipe of clear glaze over the top of it. So my um, ink is sealed, as well as um, UV protected as well as it can be. Now, to assemble this, um, you would take your panel and decide where on here you want the stained glass. And what I have found is that actually if I line up to the top and the left edge, this is looking pretty good for me. So um, pretty sure that's what we're going to do. So the next step to do would be to take my panel and apply glue generously, but not so much so that it, it leaks through. So we want you know, a thin, a thin layer. So I'm not really letting the glue pool on here. I'm kind of quickly drawing the line on here so that I'm getting a thin layer 
and then I'm going to go through and attach, you know, add some glue in these areas throughout here. So I'm just, you know, going over the stems quickly and adding a little bit of adhesive. Then when it comes to the edges, I want to make sure I can get as close to the outer edge as possible. So just look over that, see if I missed any major areas. Okay. I'm going to take this piece and I am going to glue it right into the corner there. Okay, I think maybe this was the corner I wanted to line up. Yeah. All right. So I think that's going to work. So I don't have any overhang on those two edges, but I do on the bottom and the side. And I could have cut that ahead of time or I could wait. And what I'm going to do here, obviously, is wait for that um, to dry a little bit. And then I will, I will um, take care of that. Now, I got some glue here on the front of my panel. I'm just going to take a quick baby wipe and kind of dab or wipe off what I can there. The reason I'm doing that is I'm using a tacky glue, remember, and so it remains quite tacky. All right, so I'm gonna let that glue and set off to the side, and then I'm gonna work on this panel and add the adhesive the same way. When it comes to adding this back panel, it's going to be a little bit trickier because we're going to have to hold it up to the light to see how to align. But thankfully, because we're using those two edges to line up, I think it's going to be a little bit easier for me to do the aligning and not have to move around too much so I smear my glue. I put a little bit extra up here around and on the string so that stays sandwiched in place. Okay, I'm going to clean off the tip of my glue bottle. I was just using a wet wipe and then I'm aligning the needle on the cap. Alright, so our next step here is to put that together and it looks like I have a little bit of glue here on the back panel and I can just wipe that off because there's nothing back here except plastic so I can just rub and rub back here to get that that off all right and I don't really want my plastic wet back here I do have like I said a little buildup of, of adhesive All right, that feels better. So now, using my light, I'm lining the two panels up and giving it some pressure. Okay, I'm just gonna give it some pressure to get it to glue. Double check one more time, make sure I've got everything lined up correctly. All right, and then I'm just gonna give it some pressure because I've got some buildup of weight here with the string. Okay. So then I'm gonna let this dry and then my next step will be to cut right along this edge and this edge. Now, unfortunately, my hangover is on the side with with my cording, so I'm gonna have to cut in here, but not hit the cording. So let's start by just using some scissors and see if I can get in there close enough 
to this. And if not, I'll go back in with the knife blade. Okay, so that's not bad. A little detailed scissor here might actually be all we need. I'm gonna actually use a blade to get in there. So let me get my mini cutting mat out here. This is an Ulfa mat. And then I have this nifty little knife blade that came with the mat. And so I want to use my card or my chipboard to line up and then just gently cut when you are using a knife blade you do not have to cut through all layers in one go you can see me generally passing over those pieces over and over All right, so now all I have to do is cut along the side with the string. So I'm gonna go at it at an angle here and see if I can just kind of find my way around that string. And had I been smart about it, I wouldn't have had this extra piece here on the side where the string is. So I'm just going to try to trim that off. Alright, not bad, not bad. There we have our stained, stained glass piece. Let me put some white underneath it so you can get the true color effect. And then if I can move my light here, there we go. You get that idea of what the stained glass is going to look like. All right, so I'm going to let this fully dry and then it will be ready for hanging in the window.